Welcome to Paul Paul's Workshop. A lot of people have been asking the question, can you add the DeWalt 611 router to the Fox Alien 4040XE? Well, the short answer is yes. Is it hard to do? No, not at all. And today I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to be able to install the DeWalt 611 router to the Fox Alien 4040XE. So let's get started. Before we begin, you're going to need to get one of these mounts. Now this is available through the Fox Alien website and this is designed specifically for the DeWalt 611 router. Now this is going to replace the mount that's on there that's holding your current spindle. So the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and simply remove these two wires. I'm going to set this out of the way. Now the wires connecting the limit switch will stay. I'm not going to remove that. And then I'm going to loosen these two screws, which will allow the spindle to be able to be removed. And that can slip out and I'm going to set that aside. Now I need to go ahead and remove these two screws. Okay, with this mount removed, I'm just going to set it aside, and now we have the new mount. Now the holes are already drilled and tapped so that you can put this new mount on, and that's just going to go right there, and I'll put the new screws into it. Now to put the new mount on, you're going to need some M5 uh, screws to be able to put these on. Now these are 16s, and they should work just fine. So this is the M5 by 16. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slip that right up here and put this in. And of course, you're gonna need four of them. Two on the top, two on the bottom. Now with the new mount tight, all we need to be able to do is just go ahead and drop in the new router. Now, I like having a cord coming out on this side. It makes for a shorter distance. And I also like lowering this down just about as low as we can get it because it will touch the back of that mount and I don't want that to happen. And then I'm just going to tighten these two screws. All right, with that tight, now I could run the cable through the drag chain, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is just bring it up here and use the twist ties and just temporarily tie it in place. That way if I can easily change this back to the other spindle or to the laser without a whole lot of difficulty. So I'm just going to route this on around and use the ties to be able to tie it off. So I'm just going to use the two ties because that's in relation to where my plug is, which is right here. So I'm just going to open up one of these little slots and be able to plug this in. So now it's ready to be able to do the first carve. Now, when you do the carving with this setup, you're not going to be able to have the software turn the router on and off. You're going to have to do that manually. Now, you really don't need to make any changes in the software. You just have to remember when it comes time to start to carve, turn the router on. And if you're using easel, you can set that up where you are using this as the DeWalt uh, router in their settings, and then you can manually turn it on. Now, is it possible? to be able to have the router controlled with the software? Yes, but that's a whole nother video. But with this setup, with this router mounted into the Fox Alien 4040XE, and I have it wired to the drag chain and then plugged in right over there to the wall. Now to be able to turn the router on is really quite easy. So you can do it manually. And the other CNC machines I have, for the most part, I do turn the DeWalt router on manually. 
And all you can do is just the switch is right up here. You can just turn it on. Ah, oh, turn this off. So it's easy. You can just turn that on right here. And you're ready to be able to park. Now this is a variable speed router and I do recommend keeping the setting on number one. There is no reason why you ever need to change off of that setting of number one. That is plenty of speed. That's actually 16,000 RPMs and that's plenty for any of the router bits that you have. So in less than five minutes, you're able to convert this router from the 300 watt spindle over to the DeWalt 611. And this is a very capable machine to be able to operate with the DeWalt 611 router. And if you have it set up this way, it's easy to be able to swap this out to put it back to the other spindle or to be able to attach the laser, whatever meets your needs. If you found this video useful today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. And by the way, leave me a comment. If you have questions, comments, by all means, please go ahead and ask those questions. I do try to answer every single question that's in the comment section below. I want to take this opportunity also to thank the Patreons. Their support is invaluable to help this channel continue to grow and to be able to make these types of videos possible. So if you would like to be able to join the Patreon family and help support this channel, please just go to the link down below into the description at patreon.com slash workshop. I would greatly appreciate it because I know I want to be able to continue to provide these types of videos to all of you. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video that I'm doing, whatever that may be. The DeWalt 611 router in conjunction with the Fox Alien 4040XE is a fantastic combination. It allows you to be able to use the quarter inch shank bits to be able to do the carving, and you can also still use the eighth inch bits to be able to do the carvings as well. All you need is this type of collet right here. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below so that you can order these and be able to have those on hand to be able to do the various carvings.